Hi guys, my name is Dula Nairi and you will find me on the Dula Nairi channel where you will find all things relating to pregnancy, birth, family life, fostering and adoption. So if you think any of these things will be really helpful to you, then please hit the button, the subscribe button below. So today we're going to talk about that difficult subject of if your relationship is struggling, you've had children, your relationship is struggling, whether it be a, a partner or a husband who, or who it be, and actually you feel things are falling apart. The first thing to say to you is, especially for those of us who are older, it isn't something that you would be alone on. And I'm sure many, many couples, however strong they look from the outside, however well they look like they're doing with their children, will have their own struggles and their own difficulties and nobody will ever know about it. So the good thing is, is that you found this video. So it's the first step to trying to put things. I'm sure that you know this and it's going to seem like it's an obvious thing to say, but if you can talk to each other, that is your first thing that you need to do and it might be that it's got way beyond that and you're not you're not talking to each other anymore and you're not you're not able to discover how each other feel about anything anymore so the first thing that you need to do is just find a single hour in the week where you can be alone and try and talk and it may well be that that results in a massive argument but at least you've made the first step so that's the first step you need to sit down together find find an hour to talk hopefully when you're both in a calm uh frame of mind and when there'll be no interruptions and often you know couples come at things for very different angles uh, it, it could be that you're a same sex couple or you're a different sex couple but it's still you might have very different perspectives on things I know even when I'm having an argument with my husband that by the end of it we actually can't remember what it was we were arguing about and that's because we're coming at such different perspectives and we're actually really different but we've been married for over 30 years so it's important I think to have that open hour where you try to sort of push things around a little bit and work out what it is that is, you know, starting to tear you apart, really. And I think when you have children, there's so little time together that one of the big, big aspects of it is you can't remember what you used to enjoy doing together anymore because it's all about the children. Now, some people will recommend that you try and get out and go out for a lovely meal and have date nights, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it gets way beyond that and a date night is not going to fix it because you're going to look at each other and you're not going to know what to say to each other. So clearly you've got to have a starting point and that is what, what is the key factors that are causing you to sort of fall apart and move away from each other? Is it that you're not sharing any interests anymore? You really don't have any time for each other anymore? Or are there things within the relationship which are starting to grate on each other and you haven't had this out? Now, when you do have this out, you might have a blazing row because both of you realise there's lots of things that are irritating each other. But, you know, sometimes a blazing row is is necessary, really. Um, so so that's the first uh, video that I want to make on this. Find that hour together and start thrashing out what it is that you are finding difficult together so that you can start moving forward and working on the next steps. So thank you for listening, guys. If you like what you hear, then please subscribe to Doolanari and I'll see you next time.